Hey, G the Foreign Gamer here. And uh, this weekend was quite crazy. I got so much stuff. Had to uh, leave for the whole morning, pretty much. But um, yeah, let's go get started. Uh, picked up a bunch of NES games for really cheap. And uh, let's go through them, shall we? Take my bowl. Super Bowl. And again, for all this NES games, I, pass, I paid um, 30 bucks. Pipe Dream with manual. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some Excite Bike. Baseball Stars. I think that's an uncommon game. Not sure yet, but. Yeah, lots of sports games with this, but. Uh, Hey, I'm not complaining. Off-road. Uh, the funny thing about this one is that it wasn't a thing in uh, dust cover. So, don't see this one very often. That was That's pretty cool. It's a nice shape, too. Holding it together. We also got Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Hell yeah. Didn't have this one. It's starting to go up in price, I believe. I got the Game Genie with the, the book. Didn't have one, so it's welcome in the collection. Um, another Dr. Mario. I did have one of this ones, but, you know, trade bait or not. Uh, let's see. I did trade a few ends on my way back just to get some other stuff that you'll see in a bit. But I did snatch the manuals, some manuals. Um, got Paperboy, Super Mario, classic. Playing old baseball and Kung Fu. Ah, labels are okay. They have some stickies to it. They need some cleaning, but nothing uh, permanent. So that's good. Um, with the NES stuff, of course there was a, an NES system, which um, the guy said that I don't think he, it works, he couldn't make it work, but it's, it's pretty clean, so it might just be the, the pin connector, also had a couple of uh, controllers with it, so that's good. Uh, so only paid 30 bucks for the NES with all those games, uh, so that was nice. Same guy said, oh I have this... Uh, Xbox games, you know, nothing, uh, nothing rare, but they're all sealed, so, that was nice, how much did I pay for this, five bucks, five bucks for five sealed games, that's a score in my book, ah, uh, let's see, same guy, still same guy, main reason I went there was for the, some Dreamcast games he had, he only wanted 20 bucks for the Dreamcast stuff. So we got Ultimate Fighting. Again, a bunch of sports games. Oh well. Uh, World Series Baseball. Virtual Tennis. This one's sort of a classic, I guess. Tony Hawk. Not bad. NBA game. NCAA game. And Unreal Tournament. Now, if you've never played this. Ah, uh, yeah. He must have had a sad childhood, man. But that's not all the Dreamcast stuff I had that this guy had. Uh, the main thing that caught my attention was a fully boxed system. And now, uh, the box is not perfect. But, you know, it's in one piece. And, uh, actually, I haven't opened this yet to see if there's anything in the system. So... Shall we find out? Uh, let's see how we do this. There we go. This is my first Dreamcast ever. I've never had a Dreamcast before. Oh, yes. Nice. Well, let's see. First in the box, got power cord. A 
AV cord, and the other controller. Well, the only controller. All the manuals, nice and tight in the bag. I'm loving this guy. He didn't, he didn't really use this stuff. And a mighty old Dreamcast. Moment of truth. Uh, and it's empty. Oh, oh well. 20 bucks? Hell yeah. 20 bucks with all those games. Plus, oh, I forgot to mention this. An extra controller. Yeah. So two controllers, box systems, and all those games, 20 bucks. That's a score. Paid uh, 55 total on that, on that stop, that guy. Uh, yeah, that was a Facebook deal, Facebook group uh, score. Uh, I did go to GameStop to pick up some uh, some for four for ten bucks games and uh, snatch this guys. Now this is the second time I've gone to GameStop for this deal. Um, first time I got the two Mortal Kombat's and um, some other games that I I'm using as Christmas present. Shopping ahead, that's a smart shopper. So. That was my uh, retail store stop. I also purchased Shovel Knight for the PS4. Great game if you've never played it. This is a must. Um, it 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 just got uh, physically released, so it's on, out on the 3DS, the Wii U, and the PS4 for now. I think it's coming. Might be coming to the Vita. But I'm not sure. Um, let's see. A few extra NES games I traded. Got this guitar here for another score I'll show in a bit. I stopped at a store and uh, snatched this uh, limited edition uh, artwork cell. I'm a big Metal Gear fan and I didn't have this. I did not pay that price. Um, I just traded some comms from, uh, from the NES score. And a few uh, guides, Ninja Gaiden, Tenchu, and Tenchu. Now, yeah, a lot, lot, couple of uh, Ninja Guides. Uh, <laughs> it was a ninja kind of day, I guess. So that was nice. Um, the only garage sale I stopped at had this, Game Boy Advance. And what was inside it? Game Boy Pocket. Nice shape. Not that beat up. No games though. That was uh, sad, but you know, only a couple bucks, so it was worth it. Uh, let's see now. The only the other big score I got. Uh, that was a PS2 slash Nintendo 64 uh, deal, and I got this guitar. Yeah, I hate them, but you know they come with a lot. And this whole box. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Yeah, some uh, N64 games. Completing the box, Mario Kart. Hell yeah, with a manual. Cartridge is there. On the other side, I guess. Um, we also got Forsaken 64. Completing the box. Mario 64 completing the box and Hybrid Heaven. No, I haven't played this one. Uh, looks pretty fun. Uh, gotta give it a shot. There's a PS2 I got in this deal. Uh, also got this uh, PS2 games. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, this previously owned game is uh, Need for Speed 2. Oh, yeah, there were a few PS1 games. So for the for all the PS2 stuff, I paid 30 bucks, and I paid uh, 70 for the N64 stuff. Crash Bash and Crash Bandicoot. Plus, snowboarding and Final Fantasy IX, which of course I already had. PS2 and uh, some more N64 games. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Conquer Bad for a day. It was not a bad uh, day. It's 007 and Wave Racer. Alright guys, that's all, all I got. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned. Take care.